Hey, what's up, guys? Today I am AMZ Show. Yes, I'm AMZ Show every day. But now I want to talk to you about Man vs. Corporation The Battle featuring Nintendo vs. Angry Joe. Okay, so if you haven't been asleep for the past year or two, let me fill you in some more detail first. Then I'll get to the Man vs. Corporation. So, Nintendo wasn't doing too well fina financially as they would like they weren't doing they weren't doing bad but it wasn't well enough it wasn't even close to normal um so what did they say what did they think about it they said mm, money problem youtube youtubers make money our game claim video good basically some was like this and they saw that people were making money by playing games and recording and, up and uploading them to youtube and just making money off it so youtube said let's just claim it yeah and since youtube has updated their <sighs> Uh, third party content policy like the last few months last year which made a horrible mess it wasn't going doing so well then people didn't like it a lot and this happened that angel made well played a game of nintendo and then there was like oh no no claim 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 and Angry Joe, he was angry and he said, WTF, what's going on? I shouldn't be, this shouldn't be happening. And he does have a valid point about this, but Nintendo didn't do anything wrong. Okay, let me tell you about it. Um, basically, um, after the whole uh, Nintendo claiming problem everywhere Nintendo said hmm people hate us now that's bad now let's create a program which gives people money about what gives us money too and they made the Nintendo creators program which not a lot of people sign up for and what's the tidbit of it well, you can play a limited number of games. If you are in the program, you can play a lim limited number of games and Nintendo will allow you to monetize that content without playing, without claiming it. You can upload gameplay with footage of any Nintendo game and get views, but you won't be able to monetize it. If you do, Nintendo will claim it. Yeah. But if you do join the Nintendo Creators program, you'll be you'll be able to play a few games like um, U.S. versions of I think hmm, V uh, V Sports, uh, not V Sports, Mario Kart, Donkey Kong, uh, Legend of Zelda, Super Mario, V Fit, and Super Smash Bros. I think. So yeah. And there are different games for different consoles and different regions too. And what's the catch of all this? Well, Nintendo will take about 40% of whatever you make on that video and give you the 60%. So, what does that mean? Consider a pie. When you upload a video and monetize it, YouTube eats half of the pie. Yeah. YouTube says, hey, here's your half, here's my half. I did all the platform for you, you made the video, so we're both happy. Which is a fair deal. Um, and, well, n well, good news for everyone out there. YouTube is updating their monetization policies on June 5th. And now you're gonna get 55%, so YouTube is gonna take 45% afterwards, since June 5, or on June 5. And what you, 
for now 50% left and then Nintendo comes and says hmm 50% left now we're gonna take 6 and we're gonna take 40% or whatever you have left so you won't have a lot left or yeah like hmm you have about a little bit more than a quarter of the pie left yeah this is that problem well for one thing Nintendo isn't doing anything wrong they can't do it it's a douche move but they can't do it and they are legally out uh, and they are legally able to do it and no one can stop them but the problem is that this isn't in people's comfort zone people have been making money by uploading gameplay footage for a few years now and people have gotten known to the fact that yeah it's not too hard and well people do invest a lot of money into this gaming console in the first place that they get mad when something like this happens like when you go outside I'm on Amazon right now and it says if you buy a VU AGB basic uh, you it will cost you three hundred dollars and I'm not and I didn't even look at the prices of the games hmm if you buy Mario Kart 8 and Super Smash Bros new one it will cost you four hundred eleven dollars Interesting deal. Okay, so basically, you bought Super Smash Bros, Mario Kart 8, and the Wii U, and it cost you about $400. Not to mention other games you need to buy and a few other controllers if you're gonna play with your friends. So it goes to around about $500 or more. And I'm not even counting if you buy a PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, or even a PC these things are expensive and you have to buy every game and it's not like they're games for free and you only need to play one game to make a lot of views now you have to play a lot of games so people are like well I invested a lot of money so yeah I already paid you Nintendo why should I give you more that kind of is the problem today and yeah Nintendo did really badly presenting themselves mm, them claiming videos was taking a step back and creating the partnership program is a step forward so I do give Nintendo some credit for that that they did realize that they made a horrible mistake and they should fix something but yeah it isn't going too well for them. If you're part of Nintendo Creators program, good for you. Hmm. And if you aren't, well, well, good luck finding other games to play or just don't want. If if you want to upload Nintendo gameplay footage, fine. You just can't monetize it. If you're wondering what monetization is, it's just making money off of videos. Yeah, that's. If you don't know, if you've been sleeping under a rock. Yeah, so that's all I have to talk to you about. Yeah, $500 investment does sound a little bit too much just to make money. Yeah. So this is AMZ Show signing out. Even this news is old, but I still wanted to talk about it. Okay, bye.